all day crowds were heard too. Leader voted best small market newscast and best election coverage by the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters. This is NBC 10 News at 5. We all should come together as Americans, as one nation under God. That was a protester. Now that was a protester from protest that was right outside of the Civic Center, which you're getting a live look at right now. The Monroe chapter of the NAACP protested for the second day in a row, fighting for the equality of black people in America. Hunter is right there. She's going to give you that update right now. Jones. Well, protesters are protesting worldwide, and tonight we're going to start right here in Monroe, where the NAACP hosted another protest. They were hoping to spread the message that black people deserve to be treated fairly, and that's where we're finding Hunter Elise. Hunter, you talked to a lot of people today. What were they telling you? Yeah, Chelsea, people had been out here since about 2 p.m., and they actually just left about 5 or 10 minutes ago, but they had been out here all day long. They were chanting things like Black Lives Matter and I Can't Breathe, and it was a very emotional day for some as they shared personal experiences about the challenges they faced growing up. Like Martin Luther King said, we have to shine a light, and if that means gathering together and being direct, then that's what we will do. Hundreds gathered at the Monroe Civic Center to speak up and make their voice heard. Instead of people sitting at home and saying they don't want to be a part of it, you are a part of it. If you're black, you're a part of it. If you have a black grandson, you're a part of it. If you have a nephew, black nephew, you're a part of it. If you have an uncle, you're a part of it. If you're a black man in America today, you are a part of it. If you're black, you're a part of it. Here as a white person to listen and to show support for the people of color in my community. Um, and I'm here to do whatever it is that I can do to help. And they all said they want to see the same thing, change in America. The fact that lawyers have to go through so many years of law school and police officers go through eight months at most is ridiculous. All these police officers are not bad. Everybody is held accountable for their own actions, and I don't feel that we should be accusing other having to make other polices go through what those polices did. And the answer, according to some, the solution is a lot of hard work and a lot of white people having to take a long look at white supremacy in this country, uh, at institutionalized racism. Coming up tonight at 10, I'll share more details about today's protest, including those who walked from the Civic Center to the police station to get their voices heard. Live in Monroe, Hunter Elise, NBC 10, your local news leader. Thank you, Hunter. Monroe Mayor Jamie Mayo responding to the death of George Floyd and the protests that are happening everywhere. He gives us this quote. It reads in part, the videotaped killing of George Floyd was heartbreaking. People across the country are in pain and want to see changes to the criminal justice system. He says black people want and deserve the same things as any other American, fair and equal treatment. But he says violence and looting is not the answer and it doesn't fix anything. The Monroe Police Department is going to keep everyone safe and we must work together to build bridges and bring us all together as one. Well, now you're going to take a look at some footage from video that's circulating social media. This is of a New York City police officer driving into a crowd of people. Now, this happened yesterday during protest, and as you see, it's all caught on camera. The cruiser is knocking down protesters, and an official says that the officer hit the gas after noticing a bag on fire on top of the vehicle. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio saying he finds the video troubling and wished the officers hadn't acted as they did, but he also says police were being surrounded and attacked and had to get away. The incident is being investigated. Call it out! Just say something! Now the protests aren't just happening in America. It's now gone worldwide. The protester you just heard in the video you're seeing behind me is actually from Berlin. Protesters waved banners calling for justice for Floyd. They chanted things like, I can't breathe, and held signs that said the same. And in Iran, similar things are happening. In a small demonstration, as you're seeing right now, in Tehran, six Iranian students held posters right in front of the Swiss embassy, and they also held signs, Iranian with blacks. Now, this specific protest actually did occur yesterday.
And Target has temporarily closed 175 of its stores in the country amid these protests. In Minnesota, 71 stores are closed, 49 in California, and in New York, I believe there's 12. Now, others are closed in various other states, and they say they have... Uh, to focus on their team members and their safety during this time and the community healing. Target says that they will be paying their employees for 14 days, including the COVID-19 premium pay. President Donald Trump saying that he will designate Antifa as a terrorist organization. Now, he tweeted today after Democrat and Republican officials blamed extremist groups and outsiders for being responsible for the violence across cities in America. Trump and Attorney General William Barr have recently said that anti-fascist organizers and un and anarchists were behind the violence following the death of George Floyd. Barr issued a statement today saying violence instigated and carried out by Antifa and other similar groups in connection with the rioting and domestic terrorism will be treated accordingly. Well, Atlanta's mayor is actually responding to that, accusing the president of making violent protests across the U.S. worse. Now, she's urging him to, quote, just stop talking. Trump has called people protesting the death of George Floyd in the past week uh, thugs. He's also quoted to say things that, this quote, I should say, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. So Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms is saying that his rhetoric isn't helping in any way. He should just stop talking. Um, this is like Charlottesville all over again. He speaks and he makes it worse. There are times when you should just be quiet, and I wish that he would just be quiet. Or if he can't be silent, if there's somebody of good sense and good conscience in the White House, put him in front of a teleprompter and pray that he reads it and at least says the right things because he is making it worse. Now, Bottoms also said she's extremely concerned about people gathering to protest amid the coronavirus pandemic, referring to COVID-19. She said, quote, we're going to see the other side of this in a couple of weeks. Former Vice President Joe Biden might have the strongest lead in American modern polling history since the presidency began. Uh, that's according to a new survey from ABC News and The Washington Post. Now, it gives Biden a 10-point lead over President Trump among registered voters. Now, that's an edge reflected in dozens of other polls collectively, and the data suggests Biden's better poised than any presidential challenger in decades. That said, the survey shows a five-point lead for Biden among quote, certain people to vote. It also indicates neither Trump or Biden has popularity ratings above 50%. Well, our astronauts that were sent into space yesterday, they've made it for a historic mission to the International Space Station. We're going to check in on that journey. And things are different, and there's no secret about that, but we're going to see how Mardi Gras and its traditions are living on during this pandemic. But, Brian, it feels like summer. It certainly does, and it's only going to get hotter from here. And we'll see the chance of rain returning eventually as well. We also have some tropical trouble we need to keep an eye on. All those details coming up when NBC 10 News at 5 continues.